What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with a Gengar team that won the first ever tournament for this game. You guys are a no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my content. Really huge shout out to all of my subscribers and everybody just tuning in and viewing these videos. It really does go a long way and truly really help me grow as a content creator. But before we get started here, I want to give a huge shout out to the winner of this tournament and everybody who contributed making the team. There was a decent amount of people who kind of contributed in this whole tournament run and the team building. So I will be leaving a link to all their channels and the socials down in the description below. So definitely go check them out. Show them some jeans love. But with that out of the way, we get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, a lot of people's favorite Pokemon with the one and only gang over here curse body and the focus sash as item it's got icy wind for speed control sludge bomb and shadow ball both for stab moves and then we got hypnosis to put pokemon to sleep Gengar is such a good Pokemon, and I feel like it's going to be solid on the rank ladder considering it has high special attack, and it is a really fast Pokemon. It's pretty much a glass cannon. It can hit like a truck, but it can't really take shots. That's why we have the Focus Sash as its Pokemon's item. Second Pokemon on today's team is going to be another Generation 1 Pokemon. It is going to be Dragonite. Dragonite is pretty much taking over rank with its normal Terra type and being able to extreme speed. It just does too much damage, and it's hard to kind of counter up on. This Pokemon has Inner Focus, the Assault Vest to make it more bulkier on the Special Defense side, and it's got Dragon Claw, Low Kick, and EQ for its other three moves. Middle left is going to be Cerule Edge, and I know a lot of people are loving Cerule Edge, especially myself. I just think this Pokemon's design is amazing, and he's tons of fun to use. This one has Flash Fire as its ability, Clear Amulet as its item, it has Grass Terror type to actually change so it can't be hit by water moves, and it's got Bulk Up, Terror Blast, Bitter Blade, and Shadow Sneak for its four moves. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Hydreigon. I think Hydreigon has been super, super good in ranked battles. It just has been on a lot of teams as of recently, and it really works out really good against the meta as of right now. It's got Levitate, it's got Life Orb as item, then it's rocking Heat Wave, Dark Pulse, Draco Meter, and Protect for its four moves. Bottom left hand corner is going to be the best Tailwind setter in the game at the moment. It is going to be Murkrow over here. This Pokemon has been on so many tournament winning teams and so many teams that are just pushing high ranks. It's got Prankster, it's got the Evo Light as an item, and it's got Tailwind, Haze, Foul Play, and Taunt for its four moves. I don't think you can go wrong with this Murkrow setup. I do think it, it, it could be on any team and really make the team better all around. Final Pokemon is going to be Golden Go, and I've been seeing this team on some really good teams as well. Golden Go is just a solid Pokemon with a really good typing of Steel and Ghost, and then its ability is great, so it can't be affected by status conditions with good as gold. It's got the Choice Specs as item, and this one's running Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, and Focus Blast for its four moves. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, Mental Code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this tournament winning Gengar team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Torkoal Trick Room team with Farigarath to set the Trick Room. He also has Annihilate King's Gambit, and then he's got Belly Jump, Azumarill, and Lilligant to pair up with that Torkoal. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I feel like Dragonite is going to be great all around, just because of that first turn priority, so I definitely want to bring that Pokemon, but I don't know if I want to lead it. I really do not know if I want to lead it. I could go Murkrow. I mean, Murkrow does have Taunt. Taunt could be really good on Farigarath, but do we feel like Farigarath is rolling out with the, uh, with the, what's it called? with the mental herb or is frigoraph dark type it might be dark type i think like it could definitely be dark type mm. how does jeans want to play this one i definitely want to go dragonite do i lead dragonite i could go gengar just outspeed put pokemon to sleep i'm kind of liking gengar here and maybe leading it alongside with like hmm I could go hydrogon Hydreigon's not too bad here either oh i could go cerule edge with flash fire i do like a good old flash fire cerule edge we're going to do that in case he just wants to get after me. Actually, we'll bring him in the back end. We'll go Hydreigon for a nice lovely lead. We'll bring Dragonite and Cerule Edge. I think that's really good because we'll have extreme speed to be able to outspeed. Even if they set up the Trick Room, we have uh, Flash Fire to kind of protect us from that Torkoal, dropping some fire moves. And we can also Terra type our uh, Hydreigon into fire typing and drop heat waves in the sun. So I'm liking this team all around. I'm liking this little lead that we got going on. But Trick Room is definitely a pain. But I got to check out uh, Frigoraph's typing because... If I knew it wasn't dark, I would just roll in the Murkrow and just straight up taunt it. But we'll see if he leads it. Yeah, Frigoraf is going to come out here. Oh, wait a minute. Not just Frigoraf. Shiny Frigoraf rolling out with uh, with Shiny Annihilate as well. But let me see your typing. Are you dark? It's not. It's normal and psychic. I could have just taunted the same. But it could have definitely been Mental Herb. But I could definitely see Annihilate maybe protecting. So I am just going to put you to sleep. And I could just go straight for a Dark Pulse. I'm going to double down into this Frigoraf here. I could definitely see Annihilate protecting. This is going to be my play all day. I got to put you to sleep. 
Good sword. Never mind, he's final gambiting. And that's gonna take me out. That's gonna KO his Annihilate. That's not too bad. He's looking to set up the Trick Room and bring out Torkoal, so solid start from him. If I can land his Hypnosis, this could be really good for us if we can get rolling in this battle. Come on, land his Hypnosis, Gengar. I need you here, buddy. My man, my man. Dropping a nice big old Hypnosis. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. So we put the Furiga right to sleep. It's not gonna be able to pop a Trick Room. And we're gonna get after it that way. But I feel like that was his plan. Final Gambit with Annihilate. Take out whatever Pokemon. Get the Torkoal in there and we'll out strong. I feel like from here we're gonna bring in Cerule Edge, right? Yeah, I, I, I like Cerule Edge here, especially if he's gonna bring out like a Pokemon like Torkoal, which is definitely an option. It's definitely an option for him. So let's see who he sends out. It's gonna be Torkoal. No, it's oh, that's fine by me. I can drop some mean fire moves. I can drop some mean fire moves. So we bring out Cerule Edge. We can get after that uh, for Graph too, and I'm just gonna Sludge Bomb this slot, and then I'm just gonna straight up Bitter Blade this thing. I thought I had Heat Wave, but Bitter Blade's even better. I like me a good old Bitter Blade. Yeah, let's just go for a nice little Bitter Blade here. Because I should be able to... I don't know. Do I outspeak King? Oh, it has Sucker Punch. It's going to Sucker Punch me. I totally forgot about that. This is my warm-up match. I just hopped on for the day. Did not play any warm-up matches. This is my first match of the day. I literally just got done class. Ran inside. I was like, yo, let's get to recording. Got to bring the Jeans community a nice little uh, battle video. And this is my first match for the day. So we're forgetting little things. We know this thing is Rocket Sucker Punch. It is going to trash slides into Water Typing. Okay. I see you. I dig that. That's a little water typing terrestrialization there. We'll see what he wants to do. He wakes up instantly. What are you going for? A helping hand. Oh, no. Helping hand. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Sucker punch coming in hot. That would have killed me without helping hand. He did not even need that. He did not need that. He did not need that. Sludge Bomb's going to fly here. Chip up some nice damage. Give me a poison. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. So another Sludge Bomb should be able to pick up the KO onto the figure. We're going to try not to allow him to set up the Trick Room. And yeah, I can just straight up Sludge Bomb. If he wants to go for a Sucker Punch, I'll use my Focus Ash. And I just think I Terrasalize here. Go start popping E-Speeds, right? I feel like that's a must. I think that's an absolute must. Sludge Bomb in that slot. We have Focus Ash if need be. And then just Terrasalize and start popping E-Speeds. Best bet, right? Definitely be best bet. Actually, wouldn't Dragon Call do more damage? I think Dragon Call would do more damage. 80 power. I oh, know it's 80. They, they would both do the same. They would both do the same. I might as well pop some E-Speeds. Let's go into an E-Speed. Gonna rip into that slot. And a Sludge Bomb will take down the Fruit Graph. So I'm all about it. I don't think we're sitting in a bad spot. I really don't. So if I had to guess, his final Pokemon has to be that Torkoal. He's been trying to set up Trick Room. We put him to sleep. We wasted out that turn. But no chance that that Pokemon survives now. Unless he has a first turn priority move with the Fruit Graph. That would be the only way. E-Speed's going to fly here. And this... Oh, this thing's Armor Tail. This thing's Armor Tail. I cannot go for first turn priority moves. That is wild. And how'd that thing just get HP? Wait a minute. How did that Pokemon just get HP? I'm so confused. How did that Pokemon just get HP? I'm gonna put it to sleep though, because he might go for a sucker punch here. Does it have an ability that I'm, I do not know about? I'm so confused. I'm so confused, but you know what? I'm gonna double down into him. No, I'm just gonna put him to sleep and get rid of the Frigga Raph, because I do not want Trick being able to set up here. He goes for a sucker punch. We saw that coming. This is exactly why we went to Hypnosis, and we're gonna hope that this move lands, which it does. That's a big time land. That's a big time land. The Dragonite should be able to outspeed the Frigga Raph, which should be big for us. Then we can pop Extreme Speeds after that. And I'm really curious to see what this King's Gambit ability is. Hold up. Let me look this up. Let me let me look this up. Let me look this up. Because I definitely got to see real quick. Stats moves. It's got to be an ability, right? Supreme Overlord? What's that do? No, how'd that thing just get HP? Is it a certain item? I do not know. I have no idea. Unless I'm just seeing something different. But from here, I can just go straight into a Sludge Bomb, and I feel like we have to Extreme Speed and knock some damage down onto this thing. I'm all about it. Because we can go for E-Speeds now all day. E-Speed's going to pop. Maybe I just saw it wrong. Maybe he did drop some damage, but it seemed like he gained. He gained some. 
we do that, he's probably dropping an eruption or something. Well, I get to go first, which is big. Get off some big damage, and he ends up popping a heat wave. So heat wave does some damage to us. We can eat up another heat wave. Now, the real question is, who do I go after? I know we can eat up another heat wave. I could EQ. Which I'm going to do. I'm just going to straight up EQ. Hmm. I'm going to EQ this. Let's pop an EQ. He does wake up quick. He's going to drop a soccer punch here. And we have to pick up the KO. We have to pick up the double KO right here, right now. EQ's going to fly. Give me the double KO for the win. We don't KO the King's Gambit. Actually, hold up. Extreme Speed might be able to outspeed him, right? I think it does. Even if he goes for Sucker Punch. I think East Speed can win us this battle. I'm going to have to watch that back and see if he actually gained HP. Or maybe I'm tweaking out. But we're going to East Speed. Do we go first with this? We do. That's going to be GG's, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. First match going to your boy. Sorry it looking a little bad for us. But Gengar and Dragonite coming in the back end and carrying this team to victory. Not a bad first battle. Got to showcase two of the strongest Pokemon on this team with the Gengar and the Dragonite. And we ended up grabbing ourselves a win. But we have a bigger problem on our hand here for battle number two. We're going up against a Dragonite alongside with the Dodonzo and the... Uh, how do you pronounce that Pokemon's name? Tetsugimi or uh, I forget it. I forget it. But uh, I know I'm saying it wrong right now. But he also has Armor Rouge, Golden Go, and a Gengar just like us. So pretty cool team. But since he has Dodonzo and that fishy Pokemon, the Sushi Fish, we're going to have to bring in Murkrow to kind of haze that. So I don't know if I should lead Murkrow or uh, put it in the back end, but I think I'm going to lead it just so we can get Tailman Speed Control. I'm going to go Murkrow. I am going to also lead... Um, we could lead Dragonite. I might lead, lead Cerulege. Cerulege is not bad. Kind of digging Cerulege. Could always terror type him. So I'm going to go there, there. I am going to bring in a Dragonite of our own because I really do like Dragonite. And then last but not least, I'm kind of leaning towards this Hydreigon. I like the Hydreigon. So Gengar, you're going to come in the back end. We're going to try to save our Murkrow to Haze just in case he wants to go into the Dodonzo combo. Because it is definitely a scary little combo. It definitely is. So I, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it at all. As you guys saw in the last video, we got absolutely ripped up by the Donzo. Do Donzo. Or is it Don Donzo? I think it's Don Donzo. It's a cool Pokemon, but that thing is just broken. Let's see. He's going to go Golden Go and Dragonite. So he can just go straight into East Speeds. He can't East Speed into my Cerulege, but he could East Speed in my Murkrow. Um, Golden Go does have Air Balloon. Uh, what do I do here? Um, do I set up the Tailwind? I feel like Tailwind might be a must. What do I just go straight after this thing? Hmm. He does have slower Pokemon, right? I think Tailwind might not be a play. If he goes E-Speed, we could swap into, like, Dragonite or something like that. I feel like we just save our Murkrow, right? Have to save our Murkrow. Oh, wow. I have 10 seconds left. No way. I'm just going to Tailwind. And then I'm just going to pop a nice little, uh... I'm going to actually bulk up here. I can see Golden Go potentially protecting this turn. But there's a terror from him into the Dragonite slot. This one's going to be tough. That's why I didn't think I should lead Murkrow. Because if he gets rid of my Murkrow, he can easily just go to Donzo. And pretty much win the battle. So we know he's E-Speed. I'm going to bulk up here. I'm going to roll from there. So E-Speed flies here. Does that KO us? That goes before my Tailwind? That is actually wild. That's actually wild. That thing is orbed as well. We are going to get a defense boost, which is great. I'm super surprised he just stayed in here with... Uh, Golden Go. I am really surprised at that. I am actually super surprised at that. So he stays in here with Golden Go, and he's just going to go for a Power Gem. Are you taking out my Murkrow? Yeah, that's that's rough. We're going to be sitting here with a rough one, aren't we? I do have Terra Blast for the Dodonzo, and I am Grass Typing. Um, hmm. I do have Tailwind up. I do like where we're sitting. I could go into Dragonite of my own. Hmm. I do have low kick. And doesn't low kick do damage depending on something else, right? The heavier target. Okay, so that could be good for Dodonzo. That could be really good for Dodonzo. Um, I'm going to go Hydreigon in this case. I'm going to go Hydreigon. I do have a nice little uh, boost up here. Um, And I think I'm just going to go after you with the Dark Pulse. Makes the most sense, right? Actually, I should Terra. I should Terrasalize here. Just change the fire. Just so we can't dragon call me and kill me in one shot. So I'm just going to change the fire here. And on top of this, I am just going to go for a bitter blade to finish off this golden go. I'm all about it. I'm terrasalizing here. 
if the Donzo's in the back end, it's gonna be tough for us. Or maybe, just maybe, my uh, my boy uh, Dragonite can win this one for us. But hopefully, he just didn't bring it. We'll see. Let's we'll see how this one plays. He's gonna go for the E speed. He's still rocking E speed. I changed for no reason, and that did a nice chunk of damage to me. That did a good chunk of damage to me. Dark Pulse is going to fly here. Does can this do some mean damage? It does do some good damage. I could Shadow Sneak next turn, too. Bitter Blade's going to fly, and this should KO, no problem, right? Yeah, get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. So, Bitter Blade getting some work done. Um, Do I have Protect on this Pokemon? I might. If I do, I'm going to have to Protect and just Shadow Sneak. Let's see what he brings out. This will tell us if he has the, the Dodonzo combo. I would not like. It is going to be Dodonzo, who might just Protect here. Oh my god, the thing looks gorgeous, shiny. That thing does look gorgeous, shiny. Alright. So we're gonna protect. This one's gonna be tough. This is gonna be a tough battle. <laughs> we're gonna protect you. And I could bulk up again, but I'm just gonna shadow sneak and finish. Actually, it has no effect. Let's just straight up bitter blade. Right into you. Right into you. Yo, Dodonzo looks so good, shiny. That might be one of the coolest shinies in the game. I'm loving that thing. He withdraws Dragonite. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. It goes into Tatsugiri. That's how you pronounce it. Tatsugiri. And that thing looks even cooler, Shiny. That kind of sucks because I was going to go for a bulk up, but... Nah, this thing's just going to rip into me. What's he popping? EQ? It's going to get ugly. It's going to get real ugly. It's going to get real ugly. I don't like this. I don't like this. Can you please go after my Hydreigon, though? I actually really like that. Bitter Blade misses. That's that's stupid. It should slide over. If if Tatsugiri hops in the mouth, it should slide over. He goes for a wave crash. Is that a double hitting move? Or is it a solo hitting move? It is solo. Okay, so that's not too bad. So I could pop a Draco Meteor. Actually, yeah, I mean might as well, right? If he's gonna take me out, I might as well drop a Draco Meteor. Well I can go for the flinch. I'm gonna go for the flinch here. I'm gonna go for the flinch and might as well go for a shadow sneak. Might as well go for Shadow Sneak. Doing a little bit of damage. Probably leftovers too, so this thing's gonna be able to soak. We're, lo we're looking for a flinch here. We're chipping up some nice damage. Can you give me the flinch? We don't get the flinch. He's just gonna order up and take me out. Hurts the soul. But I get to bring out Dragonite here. I do get to bring out Dragonite. And I wish I would have saved my Terra typing. I really do. Now this thing's defense rises and Tailwind's gone. That hurts. So this thing can probably outspeed us now. This is no good. This is not good. I need to... I, need, I wish I had my Terra type because he can just finish me off, right? It's not looking good. And low kicks are best bet considering how heavy this Pokemon is. So I'm going to do that. Can I Terra Blast? With nothing? Hmm. I'm hoping I can Terra Blast. I'm going to try that. Let's see what he goes for. Oh, I get to actually get low kick first. That did no damage. I thought it would do more. <laughs> this thing's a heavy Pokemon. Yeah, we're not killing this thing. The Donzo gets the best of me again. No, I should have saved my Murkrow for the back end. This Pokemon's just way too strong. I mean, I can hope to get some crits, right? I can hope to get a crit here. Then I still have to face off with the Tasugiri. I'm gonna go for a Dragon Call. We're gonna hope for crit. It's our, it's our only only option of winning this. Give me a crit. No, dude. No. Order up's gonna take us out. That's GG's. No, Donzo doing me dirty again. Oh, wait. We ate that one up. We can still get a crit here. We can still get a crit. But then we have to face off with the other little booger. Give me a crit. Let me finish this thing off. No, we, we, we're not getting him. We're not getting him. There's the order up. Though Donzo again. Just ripping into us. It's just such a hard Pokemon to play up against. Once I lost that Murkrow, I kind of knew it was over. He threw out the Donzo. And I thought Low Kick could potentially do a little bit more. No way, ladies and gentlemen. This guy right here is using my team. This was the team I made for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And hopefully this guy is a viewer of my channel. If he is... Yo, what's up? Thank you so much for checking out the videos. But he's using my team. He's rocking out with my team. I could definitely see him leading a, p a Pokemon like Palmot for a potential fake out. So I kind of want to go into like Gengar or like uh, Cerulege here. Could be solid for us. Palmot, I feel like, has to be lead. He could also intimidate me. So I gotta, I'm thinking of throwing out special attackers. Are you special attacking? I feel like Bitter Blade should be special attacking. Or it could be physical. No, it's definitely physical. So he's physical. Um, I do have Inner Focus. I could go to Dragonite. I could definitely go Dragonite, which I'm liking. I'm liking the, the Gengar-Dragonite combo as a lead. 
And then we can bring in... Do we want Murkrow in the back end? He definitely wants to rule edge. And maybe Hydreigon. I think we could speed control with Gengar in this battle, which could be really good for us. So I'm really digging that. Let's go Hydreigon here. Let's go Hydreigon. Lock it in, lock it down. But yo, I'm going up against my team. I'm going up against my team. That's so cool to actually see. I'm glad I'm actually recording when I'm doing this. That's actually really cool. That's really cool. Let's see who this person ends up leading. Maybe Skelliger. Skelliger could be a lead, but I think Paul Mott's an easy lead for my team that I made. Like, that's at least how I would use it. Paul Mott and Grimmy. Yeah, so Screens is probably coming out here. We don't really like that, but it's an option. So he, can, he can't fake out any of my Pokemon, which is really good. He cannot fake out any of my Pokemon. I'm just going to drop a big old Sludge Bomb. And then I could pop an EQ if I want to. I could, but... I could also go at E speed. What ability does this Paul might have again? It's Volt Absorb, right? I think it's Volt Absorb. Yeah, it's Volt Absorb to protect that, uh, that what's it called? To protect the Gyarados, but definitely a screen's gonna get set up here. We'll see what they want to do after that, but Dragonite, we're gonna Terrastalize with it, and we're gonna roll from there. Oh, yo, it's so cool, it's so cool. But it's kind of like a disadvantage for our opponent, considering I know everything that the, that the Pokemon have. So it's like, ah, oh, dude, <laughs> I feel kind of bad. E-Speed's going to pop here. He does not go for the Fake Eye. He's probably going for the Bolt Switch. And we're going to do some mean damage to that Pokemon. Light Screen is going to set up. We are still going to do a decent amount of damage with the Sludge Bomb, I believe. And Gengar is going to outspeed, which is huge. Doing half damage. We love that. And we get the Poison. And the Poison comes out on top of that. We like that. But it's good to know that E-Speed actually outspeeds the screen, the Prankster screen. So I could just E-Speed and take out the Grimstone so he doesn't set up a Reflect. I could do that. I could do that. Or it doesn't paralyze me. We'll see who they want to go into. They do want to go into Gyarados. I believe that this Pokemon will outspeed. I have Inner Focus, which is good. And Intimidate won't really affect Gengar because it's special attacking. Okay. I'm all about it. I'm thinking of I'm thinking of E-Speed and the Grimstone. And maybe just slowing down that Gyarados. Yeah, I'm going to slow down the Gyarados. And just E-speed and make sure this thing doesn't get off uh, another screen. I don't know which all Grimms are on. That's fine. Who are going to go into it from here? Don't beat Skellagers. It is going to be Skellagers. So solid read from him. Going into the Ghost-type Pokemon. E-speed's going to get knocked here. And I don't know what the Gyarados wants to do. We do get to slow down these Pokemon, though, which is solid. So we slow him down. I like that. And what's Gary going for? What are you going for, Gary? I would think you're going for a waterfall into my Gengar slot to take him out, right? Or just Crunch. That works. The Crunch takes him out. That's fine. Uh, I could go into Cerulege. Cerulege could come out here for us. Or I could go into Hydreigon. We have Shadow Sneak. Hydreigon's not bad here, either, which I really do like. I'm going to go into Hydreigon. So I play all day. I'm gonna bounce in Hydreigon. I do have Dark Pulse ready to roll. Um, I could keep Extreme Speed and I could Dragon Call. But yeah, Dark Pulse is gonna come in here. And we know this thing has... I mean, the Light Screen's out and about. I might just double down into that. I could pop EQs. I could pop an EQ. Hmm. Theologist does not have Protect either. I'm just gonna pop an EQ. I'm gonna pop DQ. I want the Skellagers gone. He's gonna Terrastalize. That's fine. And that thing should die. That thing should die, I think. I mean, it takes away from the Ghost Weakness, but still, EQ is gonna be super effective. And doubling down into it, I feel like we should be fine. Gyarados does protect, too. Gyarados does protect. I like that. I don't mind this turn. Light Screen is gonna neglect a lot of this damage, and he's Assault Vested. But we're gonna hope that we can actually pick up the KO. With this EQ. Coming in hot with the EQ, baby. Coming in hot with the EQ. Skellagers. Loving this Pokemon. Such a cool Pokemon. EQ's gonna fly KO for me. KO? It does not KO. Torch Song's gonna come in hot here. Ah. Uh, should be able to eat pretty well. Shouldn't do too much damage. Yeah, okay. So we soak that up. I think uh, another Dark Pulse picks up the KO. So I'm just gonna Dark Pulse and I'll Dragon Call across this board, right? I'll just go for Dragon Call. I'm all about it. Can't protect the Skellagers. It's Assault Vested. I know that. I'm using that to my advantage. This dude's putting up a good fight. Definitely putting up a good fight. We still have a back-end Pokemon, which is going to be our, uh, our Cerulege. 
When Hydreigon picks up a KO, Palma, I'm not too worried about in the back end, but it can revival Blessing. It can revival Blessing, so when it comes out on the field, I'm just going to E-Speed it down. I just have to go straight for an E-Speed. Grand Call doing a huge amount of damage, and then this thing's going to D-Dance, which we still outspeed. I mean, I can E-Speed it, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm not too worried about it. Speed's already down. I mean, he gets the attack buff, but I got I have to extreme speed this Palmot slot. Oh, no, he sells Grimstar. I totally forgot about you, Grimmy. I totally forgot about you, Grim. Now, who's faster? That thing's back to normal speed. You're 118. I mean, I guess I'll E-Speed this uh, Gyarados at this point, right? Mm, I could Heat Wave. Do we think Heat Wave's going to pick up the KO? I guess I'll... Do I Draco Meteor? Actually, I can't. We're going to have to go for Dark Pulse. And we'll just extreme speed this slot. Get rid of the Gyarados. Who might protect again. No, he does not. So E Speed picks up the KO. No reflex out on the field. We're going to get rid of you. Hall Mods the final Pokemon. And I'm not too worried. I mean, no big attackers out on the field. We just have to stop the, revi the Revival Blessing. Sets up a Reflect. I'm fine with that. We already did a huge chunk to Paul Mott already. Dark Pulse going to fly. Probably not pick up the KO. Yeah, but doing a little bit of damage. Poison comes out here. Dark Pulse with KO at next turn. GG's. This, this match over. This match is over. Jeans using his own team or his own team knowledge to his advantage. Which is kind of... It's kind of... It's kind of a bad move by me, but what, am, what else am I supposed to do? I feel like I just have the upper hand, you know? You can fake out my Hydreigon. Um, I mean, yeah, you can. But can't fake out my inner focus Pokemon. They just cancel battle. Yo, GG's. Thank you so much for using my team. Two and one for today's video. Grab yourselves a winner record. And what a way to actually finish off today's video. Going up against a person using my team. Like I mentioned in the video, it was kind of... It was kind of cheating. I wouldn't say cheating, but it is kind of like I have an upper hand when I know everything that's going on with that Pokemon or the opposing team's Pokemon. I knew the items. I knew the terror types. I knew the moves. All about that, and I was using it to my advantage. But hey, that's the name of the game. But we, like I said, we went two and one for today's video, and the only team we lost to was that dang the Donzo team. I gotta get a, I gotta get a, a win up against the Donzo very very soon because right now I'm zero and two up against them, and I do not like that. I do not like that one bit. But guys, that is gonna be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.